Right now, Gloucester school officials are getting ready to meet to discuss letting transgender students use the restroom of their gender identity. This comes just a few months before a trial spearheaded by one of the school's former students. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens is live in Gloucester ahead of the meeting. Nico. Well, Janet, tons of cars are pulling up right now, and by the looks of things, it's going to be a packed meeting with tons of discussion. The school board, they're going to discuss if they need to change their current bathroom policy, and they want to hear from the public. They want to hear from residents and citizens here in Gloucester County. Now, changes would allow transgender students to use the bathroom consistent with their gender identity and when they meet certain criteria. One criteria includes the student has undergone treatment, which may include social transition or hormonal therapy for at least six months. This has been a topic of discussion, as you all know, here in Gloucester for several years. Of course, we remember the Gloucester County School Board forced Gavin Grimm, who is transgender, to use a private restroom. Grimm, born a girl, he sued the right to use the boys' bathroom. That trial is set to start in a couple of months. Now, the school board adopted their current bathroom policy in 2014. It says boys use the boys' bathroom, girls use the girls' bathroom, and transgender students use private restrooms. That meeting here in Gloucester is going to start in a few minutes. We're going to head inside. We'll have all of that for you tonight on 13 News Now at 11. Live in Gloucester, I'm Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.